A contemporary artist, curator, and arts educator, Natalie Wood is a major player on the Toronto art scene. But when Natalie left Trinidad in 1984, there was no thought of a career in art. She came to Toronto to study psychology at the University of Toronto. Although she was a highly creative child, her parents expected her to keep art as a hobby, not a profession. When she received her degree in psychology, Natalie started her career in social work. Ironically, a friend gave her a paint set and she started taking art courses for fun, never realizing the major shift that was to come. In coming here and doing psychology and doing um, my art as a hobby, there, there started to be a shift in how I saw, and especially psychology, right? Because psychology is about what makes people tick, why, why is it you're doing that, and also unraveling the unconscious, right? And um, one of the ways to unravel the unconscious is through art, because it's, it's an expression that's not verbal, right? Um, it's images. Um, and I'm speaking in particular visual art. Natalie continued in social work and studied art on the side, taking courses at the Ontario College of Art and Design. It wasn't long before she began to combine art and social work. Natalie created an art group for people with mental and cognitive disabilities, and then taught the group how to teach the concept to others. It was this project that formed her thesis for the master's degree in art education she received from the Ontario Institute for Studies in Education. Natalie's work brings together art and historical research and explores issues related to identity, marginalization, resistance, and representation. Her talents include painting, encaustic wax, printmaking, collage, and video. In my art, I I use a lot of history. I'm very much concerned with bringing to light things, events or um, historical moments that have been erased or overlooked or um, kind of um, not focused upon. And in particular, moments in history related to black experience and black, black um, um, presence in, Toron in Toronto itself and in Canada. Where I particularly connect with her work is when she explores issues of themes of African spirituality. Um, my favorite pieces that I have in my house is a piece she did about the area in, uh, at Oakwood and St. Clair. And um, it's a sort of a triptych. And one of them has to do with the First Nations um, people the second has to do with the Europeans, and the third uh, has to do with African people who lived in that area. You know, there's that statement, if you don't know your history, you don't know your past, you don't know where you're going to, right? And so I, f I feel strongly that part of what I'm doing in my art is addressing, addressing that, making sure that that history comes to light um, so that it could be shared with everyone. Um, and there, there then could be more of an integration into society of, um, and Canadian society and communities. The Art Gallery of Ontario Community Art Project is an initiative created to give the AGO's surrounding community a voice and artistic outlet during the expansion. Natalie worked with a Cecil Community Youth Group to create artwork inspired by the research into the history of the neighborhood's streets. A giant mural was created for the construction hoarding in Grange Park. Natalie's visual art has been exhibited in the Zaza Gallery, the John B. Aird Gallery, Harborfront Community Gallery, Hart House, A Space Gallery, and the Spadina Museum, where she was an artist in residence. Her video work has been screened at film festivals in Toronto, New York, and San Francisco. The Locks Narratives, a video short, is part of a web art project called Kin Links, which is a faux corporation that does genetic testing on popular Western icons such as Mickey Mouse to locate their African ancestry. And I was shocked to find out that there was a, a black connection to Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse is black, right? A highly respected curator, she has arranged exhibitions at the Women's Art Resource Center Gallery and the A-Space Gallery. Natalie has received awards from the Toronto Arts Council Ontario Arts Council, and the Canada Council for the Arts. She received the M. Norbezi Philip Award 
for outstanding contributions to African arts and culture. With her MA in art education, Natalie also teaches art at schools, art centers, and health organizations in Toronto. She currently works part-time at Sistering in the Inspiration Studio, working with marginalized women developing their art and business skills so they can earn an income. I think that she is um, very much a, you know, a well-chosen person for an award like this because particularly when I think of what Canada says in terms of um, new, the more recent people who come here, which is that, or even those who have come before, that is that um, we continue those links and that helps to build a better country for all of us.